Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study metric units of volume and I intend this lesson for about fourth grade. And in fourth grade the children can already start doing conversions between the units, so that's what we're going to do a lot. The units themselves are there's milliliter, centiliter, deciliter and liter. In this, in this lesson, we're going to concentrate on milliliters and liters, okay? And the factor, conversion factor, is 10 between each two neighboring units. 10 milliliters makes a centiliter. 10 centiliters makes a deciliter, and then 10 deciliters makes a liter. And it follows that 1,000 milliliters makes a liter. You go 10 times 10 times 10. 1,000 milliliter makes a liter, and that you need to remember. I have a few examples here. First of all, these little measuring spoons. This is about one milliliter, okay? And uh, here's a one teaspoon, which is five milliliters. And here's a tablespoon, which is 15 milliliters. So as you can see, milliliter is a fairly small unit. It's not very much, okay? This glass is about 300 milliliters. And then this is a liter, one liter jar. So this is a thousand milliliters. Let's do some conversions now. These are pretty easy. All we need to do is remember that one liter is thousand milliliters. So six liters is six thousand milliliters. How about four and a half liters? Half a liter would be five hundred milliliters and it's four thousand. So four thousand five hundred. Here. 5 liters, 50 milliliters. 5 liters makes 5,000 milliliters, so 5,050. 12,700 milliliters. Well, the 12,000 milliliters makes 12 liters, and then we have 700 milliliters left over. Like I said, these are pretty easy. 6 times 400 milliliters. How many liters does it make in milliliters? 6 times 4 is 24. Tag two zeros to it, so you get 2,400. So that would be 2 liters, right? And 400 milliliters. And then just a few word problems. How many 300 milliliter glasses can you fill with 2 liters of water? I have that kind of glass right here, and if I had 2 liters, 2 of those, how many glasses can I fill? We'll simply change this to milliliters first, okay? That is 2,000, right? 2,000 milliliters. And now we just think how many times does a 300 fit or go into 2,000? You think 5 times 300 would be 1,500, 6 times 300 would be 1,800, 7 times 300 is now 2,100, so not quite 7. You can fill 6. Okay, and you'll have. 200 milliliters left over. Now, one shampoo bottle has 400 milliliters and costs $6.50, and another has 500 milliliters and costs $8. Which is cheaper per milliliter? This kind of question usually people solve by dividing so they can find the price per one milliliter in this case, okay? If 400 milliliters of it costs that much, then if we divide this by 400, then we would get the price per milliliter. If I divide this by 500, I will get the price per milliliter. But those kind of divisions are not so easy, right? Another possibility is to just find the price for 100 milliliters. Divide this by 4, and then this by 5, to get the price for 100 milliliters. But I'm going to show you one more way, where we use multiplication instead of division. Since I have here 400 and 500, both of them go evenly to 2,000. So if I take 5 shampoo bottles of these and then 4 bottles of these, then I will get 2 liters of shampoo. I'll just check which one is cheaper, to buy 5 bottles of this or 4 bottles of that. Okay? Then that answers this question at the same time. So let me take 5 times these smaller bottles to get 2 liters of shampoo, but find out how much it costs. 5 times 6 is $30, and then 5 times 50 cents is $2.50. So 
So 32, 50. Then the other ones, I will take four of these bottles to get exactly two liters. I'll check the price. Four times eight dollars is 32 dollars. Okay, now you can see which one is cheaper. This one is cheaper for milliliter. Okay, the latter. And lastly, I think this is one that Matthew gave us. So thank you, Matthew. You drink 300 milliliters. Kathy drinks five deciliters. And Matthew drinks one liter 50 milliliters out of a two liter carton of grape juice. What is it, Matthew? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, blueberry juice. Matthew, I cannot, I don't want to change it to blueberry juice because they don't sell blueberry juice in the stores. So, sorry, not this time. How much is left? And he included here deciliters too, so let's think about that. We have milliliters, deciliters and liters and um, we need to add, we need to add those amounts. And we need to subtract too. But we cannot do that until they all are in the same kind of unit. And I think milliliters is the way to go. This is milliliters, we need to change this to milliliters. And this also. So 5 deciliters into milliliters. Let's use this table here. Deciliters to milliliters. I need to use 100 as my factor. 1 deciliter is 100 milliliters. So 5 deciliters is 500 milliliters. So I have here 300. You drink 300. Kathy drinks 500. Matthew drinks 1 liter 50. Okay, that's 1050. I need to line up my numbers very well, okay? And now I can add 1850 milliliters. There's two liters of juice and those three drink this much. So how much is left? Just think of this and the 2000. What's the difference between this number and 2000? It's 150 milliliters. Okay, all done.